What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing another fast food review. It's been a couple months since I've done one of these, but Burger King has recently come out with a product that made me very, very intrigued. Today we are looking at the Sourdough Bacon King by Burger King. Now I already have this unwrapped. I haven't taste tested it or anything yet, but I'm very intrigued for it. Um, so here's the burger. It's basically a burger with bacon, cheese, I believe it's mayo, ketchup, and that kind of looks like it. There's no lettuce, there's no onions or anything on it, which I think that's kind of a little unfortunate as it is, but it does normally come in a single variety. I did opt for the double for this review and for my own personal preference. And here was one of the reasons this burger intrigued me. So back in my childhood, in the early 2000s, Burger King had a little burger that maybe some of you guys will remember that was a part of a deal that at the time was called the Shack Pack. Now the Shack Pack to my memory was a sourdough bacon cheeseburger with fries that had cheese dipping sauce and like a medium drink. Now I haven't seen Burger King do anything like that in a long time. Burger King used to also have cheese fries that you would shake in the bag, which was dope. I thought, um, y'all guys need to bring either of those back, please. Um, but I have always remembered the sourdough bacon cheeseburger because I used to love it while it was on for that limited, I think it was a summer run of summer of like 2002. Um, but it was so good. So when I saw this sourdough bacon king, it immediately caught my interest. And I knew I had to grab one and I had to review it for you guys. And I also had to grab some onion rings. I love Burger King's onion rings. Don't ask me why. They're just something I always go for. I don't get the fries. I don't get the jalapeno poppers and mozzarella sticks. You gotta go with the onion rings with the zesty sauce. That's all I'm saying. Now let's take a little chomp at this burger. Now it looks like they give you like two pieces of bacon. Uh, the mayo and the ketchup is awesome. I thought they would have thrown mustard or something special like sauce wise on here, but they don't. It probably also would have been cooler with lettuce and onion, but I don't know how they make their king sandwiches anymore um but let's let's just go into this now and let's see what we got now it is a nice looking burger from the way the camera's making it look the patties look nice and thick they're probably whopper patties um but you know i like i said i'm not normally a big fast food eater i eat fast food maybe three times a year if that and this is like the first of 2021 um so let's check this out Now, the one thing I noticed that it did is Burger King burned the hell out of my underside of my bun where my top one looks fine. So, that's a little upsetting, but it doesn't taste like burnt bread, so I guess it's just okay. So, don't get me wrong, it is delicious, it is. Um, you know, you gotta take it with a grain of salt because it's a fast food burger and it's not like a, a restaurant burger where the patties will be thicker. That's another reason why I go for the double usually because you get a thick kind of slab of meat, that sounds weird. But um, it basically is like your traditional patty melt in a way. Because you got your sourdough bread as the uh, buns, bacon, cheese, ketchup and mayo is always kind of my go-to for a burger. But it's good. It, uh, it definitely is good. The price for me, it's a little high in price, wasn't it? No, they didn't give me a receipt either. That's fun. I think this cost me like nine bucks and change with the onion ring, um, which... On Wednesdays, uh, I believe they're on like a two for five deal or the single ones are always on a two for five deal, which is fine, which is weird why the double plus onion rings would be kind of expensive. Is it, it is an expensive burger, guys. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, if I were to rate this one to ten uh, based on a few bites I had, uh, let's give it another one. I've been watching a lot of uh, David Portnoy. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to start rating the food as I'm reviewing it. 
piece of burger fell off. For it being a fast food burger, we're going to give this 7, 5, I want to say. Because I've had better fast food burgers. Uh, burger King isn't awful, but they're definitely not the best I've had. Um, the burgers are a little dry. I like my burgers a little bit juicier. Um, but they could also be because of, you know, whatever they did to this thing. Um, I also, you know, I gave it a little point deduction there too because they burnt the hell out of this side of bread for me. I hope they don't do that for everyone. Um, but it's good for a limited edition item on the menu that could do a lot of tweaks. That also brings me back to my childhood of remembering that Shack Pack. Bird King has done a good job here. The price also I don't think is justifiable. Um, especially when, if these are just Whopper patties, like, and bacon and cheese, lettuce, tomato. Like, where is the premium pricing really coming in? Is it the bread? But that doesn't make sense because you can get two for five on the single patty. So the pricing does kind of confuse me a little bit. Um, but it's not bad. It's worth the try. We'll give it the 7.5. Um, they could have added a little bit more to it, the lettuce, the onion, made it like a traditional Whopper to an extent. But, like I said, I'm not sure what their philosophy is on their King Burgers right now. It's not bad. It's okay. I would definitely opt in for a, like a restaurant burger if I could. Like I said, I'm not big on fast food. I do these reviews when something interesting comes out. So, guys, if you've had the Sourdough Bacon King, what are your thoughts on it? Leave your thoughts out in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'll catch you later, guys. See you, bye.